We're here at St. Tammany Health System's main campus in Covington, and just like hospitals everywhere, there's concern over a shortage of N95 masks. But here, a problem is only an opportunity for a solution, and they found one. We're going to talk to Elaine Ward of the Utilization Management Department about theirs. And so I made myself available to Carrie Milton and Leslie Kelp, and they, uh, I said, use me, use me, whatever you need me to do. And so they said, here, here's a project for you. <laughs> the black boxes behind me are um, they're UV light. They use UV light technology to sanitize anything that you put in there. Mm -hmm. So we're using them to sanitize the masks instead of discarding them after every shift. So the staff on the units are bringing their masks to us at the end of their shift, and we are sanitizing those masks and returning them to the department for use the next day. They were not made to disinfect masks. These devices themselves actually were designed to disinfect tablets, iPads, and they can charge them as well. Um, I think that's why they were purchased here at the hospital. And somebody looked at them and said, why can't we use it for masks? And of course, UV technology is widely used across many industries to disinfect various surfaces. Um, we have it here in our air duct system. Um, to kill bacteria that are known to grow in ventilation systems. We have uh, other hospitals that have them in um, operating rooms. They roll a blue light machine into the operating room and they turn it on and it disinfects everything in the operating room. Before we started this, we were using many more masks than could be sustained. We knew that we could not sustain discarding that amount of masks every day. So the um, we had to ease that somehow, and this has worked out great. Because the supply chain was disrupted, we couldn't get more masks, or we knew that it was going to take longer to get more masks than we had. Uh, you know, if we only had five days worth of masks and it was going to take us a week to get more masks, then we knew we had to do something. Yeah. So that's, that's what they came up with, and I think it's worked out great. I think the real message to the community is that as a community hospital, we care about the people in the community, we care about our patients, and we care about our staff. Our colleagues are so important to us, and we're all part of this community. So we never know when we're going to be taking care of our neighbor or our neighbor's mom. And I, I've been here for 36 years now, so I feel like that's something that I've always been very proud of, that we're a community hospital. Um, and this just exemplifies the way that we use innovation, we think outside the box, to keep our patients safe and to keep our staff safe so that we can keep on rolling.